Okay, so you've just set up a new Shopify or Klaviyo account and you want to integrate them with each other so you can start sending emails for your e-commerce brand. So in this video, I'm going to be going through the exact step-by-step -step instructions of how I do this integration for all of my clients. So let's get stuck right into it. Okay, so I've got my Klaviyo account open here and what we need to do is we need to click our name on the bottom left and I'm going to click the integrations button down below. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add integration on the top right and I'm going to search for Shopify. And here it is. So I'm just going to click it. And what it's going to ask us for is our Shopify store URL. Now, this isn't going to be your website URL that customers will go to your website and shop from. It's actually going to be your Shopify backend URL. And the way you find this is basically it's right here at the end of the Shopify backend. So after it's the store, it's going to have a forward slash and then your store name. So you just copy your store name and I paste it here. And then after that, I type dot my Shopify.com and that's it. Now, what I'm going to do here is the next, I, I tick this. So this should already be ticked, but I'm just going to make sure it's ticked. And then I'm going to select a list. Now, what it's going to ask for is your main newsletter list. So if this is a new Klaviyo account, this newsletter list is already set by default. So this is going to be your main list that new subscribers are going to join to. Or if you have an already existing Klaviyo account and you have a different list, just select whatever is your main list. So I'm going to select newsletter because that's the default one. Now, what I'm going to do here is these should all be ticked the way that they are. So if you're missing any ticks here, just make sure that it's ticked exactly the way that this is. Um, keeping in mind, it should be all profiles up above over here. Cool. So this is all good. Now I'm going to click connect to Shopify. And it's going to take me to uh, the Shopify account and I'm going to log in. Now, here we have it. So now we're on Shopify and it's going to ask me to install the app. So I'm going to click the install app on the top right. And there we have it. So now it's just going to ask me to confirm the integration and I'm going to click the integrate button. So down here, it's sort of spinning the wheel. So it's just connecting it right now. And here we have it. So integration has been updated. So now the first step of the integration is complete. Now, the next thing that we need to enable is on-site tracking. So if you're an e-commerce brand, which most people on Shopify, they are, they want to have on-site tracking for their website. So if, if someone goes to your website and they add a product to their cart and you know, you're sending an abandoned cart email, then you want Clavio to be able to trigger that email. So you need to enable on-site tracking. So what I'll do is I'll click the view Shopify app embed settings. Just going to click this button over here and it's going to take me to Shopify again and basically this here needs to be ticked so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to untick it and tick it again there we go so now on-site tracking should now be enabled i'm just going to click the save button on the top right and i'm going to go back to clavio so the next thing that we need to do is click to shopify down below in sync settings and we want to make sure that all our profiles are selected so again it should say all profiles over here and from shopify this should be selected the way that it is so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click update settings because I have updated the Shopify side of things. And now we've got a notification that the on-site tracking is working. So we're all good. So now when it comes to the integration, it's actually all completed. It's all done exactly the way that it should be set up. So all these settings should pretty much be the exact same for you guys by this point. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you have a new account or if you're using a new list, um, it's really important to switch double opt-in off. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna click lists and segments on the left and I'm gonna open up my main newsletter list. So again, if this is an existing account, just go to whatever your major list is. Um, and for me, it is called newsletter. So I'm gonna click on newsletter here. And it's really important to switch double opt-in off. So I go to settings, consent, and opt-in process over here. It's going to have double opt-in switched on by default, but it's really important to see, switch it to single opt-in. Now, basically what this means is if someone signs up for your email newsletter, by default, Clavier is going to send them an email asking them to confirm that they've signed up. So it adds an additional step. So it's only going to actually add that customer to our list after they hit confirm. Now, what you'll see is if you actually have it switched on, your opt-in rate is going to be much, much lower because a lot of customers just don't take that step. So what I recommend always is unless you're having some serious deliverability issues, just leave it switched off and keep single opt-in because that way if someone just adds the email address once on your website, they're in your newsletter list. If they ever want to unsubscribe, they can just hit unsubscribe. So that is the setting that you should have by default. So there you have it. So if you have a new Shopify or Claudio account, this is pretty much the exact settings that I recommend running through. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll reply as quickly as I can. If you ran through this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.